वेलकम स्टूडेंट विशाखा कोलंबी करियर लेक्चरर इन इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक जालना टुडे वील डिस्कस द लास्ट एंड फिफ्थ यूनिट बिजनेस करस्पॉन्डेंस एंड इन दिस विल सी इंक्वायरी लेटर ऑर्डर एंड कंप्लेंट लेटर ई मेल्स एंड इटिक्वेट्स करिकुलम वाइट ए बायोडाटा जॉब अप्लीकेशन एंड रिज्यूम राइटिंग सो फर्स्ट वील सी वॉट इज इंक्वायरी लेटर see inquiry letter you can write uh, write like inquiry or inquiry e or i both are correct here don't get confused with the spelling letter of inquiry is a request questions inquiry for information it can be a inquiry of goods and services commodities accommodation or land etc now how to write a inquiry letter there should be a clear mention of a quantity and quality of goods required nature of services needed purpose for which goods are required mention the date if any on which goods should be delivered specification of items and price list that is called quotation so all these points should be there in your inquiry letter so students here we have a question and example how to write that inquiry letter as usual you know that the address and the date at the right side of the letter any letter you can write okay so here see two we are writing the sales manager hindustan appliances limited pune as per the question here you want to purchase some electrical equipment for your workshop write a letter of inquiry to hindustan appliances limited pune so we are writing here to the hindustan appliances right so what you are inquiring here see subject inquiry regarding availability of electrical equip equipments right so this is subject is very important and here we have given the specification and quantity of the items what you need this specification is very important in any inquiry letter how much you demand how much goods or services you need the quantity is very important when you are inquiring it and the same thing yours faithfully the closing lines as you know for any letter this is what the format of inquiry letter you have to follow this format for all inquiry letter fine and then we'll come to the order letter if the buyer is satisfied with the terms and conditions of the seller as per his inquiry he places order for the goods right if you inquire something in any bookshop in company in industry or wherever if you satisfied satisfied with the inquiry if you get the proper response from the seller then you will put the order for the items right so here while placing an order following factors should be specified right quality and quantity of goods that earlier also we have mentioned in the inquiry letter then type of packing required total price and mode of payment then delivery or mode of transport then time and place then insurance of the goods rights to reject goods if damaged or not delivered on time and terms and conditions this is very important or to write any order letter means all points should be considered again we have the example here for the order letter here we have the question place an order letter for a certain books as a manager of indian books house to the proprietor of sadhana publications mumbai right so this is what our letter head indian book house bandra mumbai and we are placing order of books to whom to the sadhna publications as in the questions you have so date as the right side of the any letter you have to write then here you have to write the placing order number see students here this is the additional part you have to write in the order letter this is the your number i i b h that stands for indian box house and this is what your outward number or the placing order number it is for the next references then two here we have written to the proprietor sadhna publications pandra mumbai right 
then subject is what placing an order of books reference is what with the reference of your quotation first we have inquire after the inquiry we will get the quotation we will get the whatever the response from the seller and with that response that is what the reference you have to write here with the reference of your quotation means whatever you have given the quotation of the price list of your uh, books or whatever the items you need then this is what the content okay we are mentioning what we need the starting lines we are mentioning this books animal farm oliver twist pride and prejudices we have mentioned the author and publisher of this book and the quantity we need this is what the specification of your goods or your items here one more point is what terms and conditions while placing an order you should write all the terms and conditions between buyer and seller for the next business or the next activities so here see what are the terms and conditions you have mentioned the book should be well packed in the boxes damaged and misprinted book should be replaced the transportation should be done by you remaining 50% of payment will be given at the time of delivery of books and then what the closing lines these are the closing lines yours faithfully and in enclosure what you have mentioned the dd number of rupee 10000 as advance of 50% of payment as in the terms we have mentioned 50% of payment we will do before the delivery and after delivery 50% right so these terms and conditions are very important and uh, it is for the next references it is between the buyer and seller these terms and conditions both buyer and seller should follow properly right then we will come to the complaint later it is a return when terms and conditions of the business between buyer and seller is not followed the letter of complaint is always written for number 1 poor quality of goods received number 2 goods arrived in a damaged condition or late number 3 defecting packaging number 4 goods ordered and received are different number 5 higher price and poor service sixth goods delivered to a wrong place and the last dishonesty shown by the seller okay for these causes you can write the complaint letter see the complaint letter should contain again it should be addressed to the proper person department as soon as problem is found you should not be late while making your the complaint as you found the problem you have to write it soon then purpose of the complaint letter is not quarrel but for errors to be rectified okay we are not going to fight with the person or we are not going to make a quarrel between the seller and buyer but the complaint letter is for what to rectify it to improve it the problem should be solved easily then letter should be in a firm concise and polite language you should not get angry okay your language your uh, uh, whatever the uh, matter you are writing it should be in a polite language then need to provide all details of business done such as a date time order delivery services required nature of loss transaction etc while writing the complaint letter you should mention all the details whatever the business has done between the buyer and seller all details you have to write it in the complaint letter then the final is what letter should contain your claim and legal points to make it genuine and will go to the court of law okay so whatever you are writing it should be with the terms and condition it should have the legal point as you can go to the court of law fine then see here we have the example and the format how to write the complaint letter see the example draft a letter of complaint to the sadhna publications bandra mumbai for the receipt of damaged books so the first letter only we have given okay order letter we have take the same question for the order letter and now if you found the damaged books in the first letter as you see in order letter we have mentioned all these things right this this much books we have ordered to the sadhna publications and now we are making the complaint to them about 
the damaged books complaints for the damaged books means you didn't receive the uh, all books in a proper condition right so we are writing here the complaint letter to the sadhana books the same thing again letter head is there date at the right side to the proprietor right subject complaint letter and this is what the reference the reference is important here uh, where you are writing the order number okay you can see here order number we have write in the in this okay this is what the order number right so this number we are writing here for the complaint letter as a reference the order letter number placing order number and the date we have mentioned here then this is the content see the language here for the complaint letter dear sir i have placed an order for the books in the last week dated 16 uh, to 2018 according to the name and author of author and the copies required okay it is and i have got the delivery of the books on the right time but i regret to inform you that out of that total 20 copies are found damaged condition so please urgently inform me about how you will treat this order by replacing the damaged books or reducing its costs let me know soon from you thank you so this is what the polite language when you write the complaint letter your language should be concise and polite fine so this is all about the complaint letter now we'll come to the writing emails so students everybody uh, in this uh, digital world is used to the emails and all this is not that much uh, hard to know okay everyone knows about that but still you should know how to write the emails in a proper way right see email is the electronic mail it is most preferred and faster way of communication as everyone knows emails are categorized as formal email and informal email in a formal mail you can address to the companies government departments offices school principal or teacher right and informal emails you can address to the family friends and relatives fine see for email format this point should be there email address of the recipient of the mail then comes subject then salutation then comes body of the email then introduction the matter in detail conclude closing lines name and designation and contact details of the sender fine here we have the format see the format as per the contents with the recipient here you have to write the to whom you are mailing recipients and then comes the subject then this is respected sir and madam this is what the salutation you can say this is the introduction the two lines we will introduce what is your topic then this is in the in the in the next four lines you have to write in detail what you uh, talk about right this is what the closing lines okay your name designation you have to write here if you attach you want to attach some documents you can go here and you can attach right the example i have given see in this example more clear you can and understand this is the mail when you open it you have to go to the compose you have to click here then you have to write here the recipients address email this is what dear participants see this is what the salutation this is the introduction in the first line this is the details of the mail what the person is sending to you and the finally the regards professor b l gupta see here you can see so this is what the closing lines fine then we'll see what is netiquette see netiquette stands for internet etiquette etiquette is your ethical and polite behavior in society like that netiquette is the good behavior while using internet such as email social media online chat web forums website comments multi uh, multiplayer gaming and other types of online communication so uh, 
this is very important nowadays everyone is using uh, the technology everyone using the many types of gadgets okay so in this digital world you should know you should aware about the netiquette here are some general points for the netiquette how while using the internet what are the things you have to remember the first is what this is what the ethical behavior you can say okay so first is what avoid posting negative or office offensive comments online respect others privacy and should not share personal information photos videos without permission of the person then never spam others by sending a large amount of unsolic unsolicited mail then show good relationship when playing online games whether you win or lose then don't troll people in a web forums or website by posting repeated comments then stick to the topic when posting it online or when commenting on the photos or videos such as youtube facebook comments etc then don't use offensive lang language then avoid replying to negative comments with more negative comments instead break the cycle with a positive post then if someone ask a question and you know the answer offer to help and finally thank other who help you online so these are the general points for the netiquette fine now we'll see job application and resume writing see generally resume curriculum vitae and bio data these three terms are used interchangeably right here in a brief we will see what is the exact difference between the, there is a slight difference only what is between resume curriculum and bio data in exam the question comes like that write a job application with resume or write a job application along with curriculum vitae or it can be come like that write a job application with bio data all three terms are interchangeably you can use so in resume see in the first column it is the summary of one's education skills when applying for a job it is one or two page long right then a resume does not list out all details of the profile but only specific skills customized to the target job profile the structure in the structure of resume a good resume starts with summary of qualification and the professional experiments experience in reverse chronological order and what the focus on the most recent experiences with responsibilities and achievements and previous experience are only presented as a summary means what you have to focus on the latest experience if you have previous experience you can write it but in a very short thing see the curriculum vitae it is more detail than a resume generally 2 to 3 pages or longer as per the requirement okay so see the slight difference is there cv include every skill all the job and positions held degrees professional affiliations the applicant has acquired and in chronological order cv is used to highlight the general talent of the candidate rather than the specific specific skills for the specific position then it should be preferred option for fresh graduates or people looking for the career change it could also be used by people applying for academic positions now see the bio data bio data is the short form of a biographical data in a bio data the focus is on a personal particulars like date of birth gender religion race nationality residence marital status and the like a chronological listing of education experience comes after that the term bio data is mostly used in india when people apply for government jobs or for research grants bio data are not common in the international markets where personal information like age gender religion are not required to be submitted by the candidates in bio data you have to this structure the heading 
the educational block, the extracurricular block, the personal interest block, experience block and the reference block. So just students keep it in mind that all these terms are same. There is a only slight difference. So don't confuse when it comes to the exam. They can ask, write a resume, write a curriculum vitae or the biodata. Here I have just mentioned the small differences to remove your confusion, right? See here, job application. Ra while writing a job application, following aspect should be considered. The format you can say, see applicants address and date at the right side of the corner. Two recipients address at the left side as usual for any letter you use this. Then subject, the reference, salutations like respected sir, madam, dear like this. Then introductory paragraph, the main body of the letter, the closing paragraph, closing remark. For example, you are faithfully, this is what the closing remark. Then enclosed, enclosed is what resume biodata and the Xerox copies of concerned doc documents. Right. See here, we are going to take the example again. Write a job application along with resume for the post of computer engineer at Digital Infotech Group Pune. As I have told you, write a job, job application along with resume. Here, the question can come along with CV or along with biodata. One and the same thing. Right. So, as per the points, Earlier we have discussed XYZ, Guru Krapa apartment, Tilak road and this is date at the right side of the job application as usual for any letter we use this, right? And date and address at the right side. Then to the left side comes to whom you are addressing. You are addressing to the manager digital infotech group. Then subject application for the post of computer engineer in your organization. Then reference is what? Your advertisement in the Times of India dated 21st of Jan 2019. This is what the reference you have to write while writing the job application. Then respected sir, this is the introductory start of your application. This is the body of the application in detail you are writing. Okay. And these are the closing lines. Thank you, you are faithful or the closing remarks. Then comes. This is what the job application along with resume. Here we have written the resume. See the points. While writing the resume by data or CV, you should consider these points. Whatever the highlighted here. Personal details. This is one block. Educational qualification. This is the block. You can write it in the tabulated form. Then comes work experience. Then extracurricular activities references date place and signature this is what the total format of resume see here you have written it personal details in the personal details your name come address contact number email date of birth marital status nationality language known this is what your personal detail in educational qualification it should be in the reverse chronology that means you have to write first your highest qualification. This is B and IT Nagpur. You have mentioned the percentage and the university. Then diploma and then SSC. This is what the reverse chronological order. Then comes work experience. Here we have written this. Worked as assistant engineer. Work as a junior engineer. Okay. Then extracurricular activities. Here we have written two extracurricular activities. That is successfully completed course in animation with A grade. Then participated in National Youth Festival, right? The references, you are writing two names here for your references and the date, place and signature. So, all these points should be there when you are writing job application along with resume, right? Then only you are going to get the marks, fine? And so, students, you should consider in, biz, in, business, in business correspondence, you should be strict to the points. Whatever the necessary points are there, the format and their points. That is what all required in exam. Not the details of the content. 
for example if you are writing the application you are writing it so long you are not going to get the mark you should stick to the format whatever the format is there of for that particular letter fine so students these are the references i have taken it from the content if you have any problem any queries do message me do ask me fine thank you